They genuinely am interested in your whole yeah. process. Well, likewise. No, yeah. I really you? am a big fan. I really, you well, know. Thank you. I, I kind of studied what you were doing, and it, it inspired me very early on, as I said, you know, because I thought, all right, this is a guy who's got balls. Uh huh. And he doesn't mind, you know, the fact that you didn't mind sort of breaking the law or upsetting people was, <laughs> yeah. was kind of, I, follow, I followed that rule, you know, whenever somebody is trying to shut me down or say that's illegal. But I know in my career, I've done some things. I would go on a red carpet and interview celebrities and ask them, I would get up at press conferences and ask horrible questions, you know, yeah. like, like it would take every ounce of my energy out of me to do it it is people have no idea how nerve-wracking yes it is it's terrifying to to be the one in the room who and you don't know what's going to happen i mean i used to have reporters threatening to kill me yep. and, and i was always shocked because i was like i just want to make people laugh yes exactly well that was the problem with also doing the allergy show and the movies was that the kind of stakes became higher yeah. so in bruno y you ended up being i ended up being in situations where I wouldn't say my life was in threat, but I was in danger of being hospitalized or, you know, so right. the, the end scene in Bruno is a cage fight. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And, and people were throwing chairs. Yeah. So I remember when we were planning that scene and, you know, coming back to the original question of, you know, you come up with a crazy idea in the room and it's like, you know, how do we make this happen? And the idea was, I want to have the love scene where Bruno meets his boyfriend again and they start kissing in the middle of a cage fight and Bruno's become <laughs> this really macho guy called Straight Dave. Right. And he's pretending not to be gay, you know. And um, one of the greatest scenes ever. And basically, you know, I called up the lawyer. This, the studio said, you can't do it, it's illegal. And I said, why not? And they had their lawyers on the line. They said, you're crossing state lines to have a riot. And that is a federal <laughs> right. offense, you know. Wow. That, that's what they arrested the Chicago 7 for. Mm, you know, right. so it becomes not just a state offense. So. So they just go, you can't do that. So I said, well, let's see if we can do that. Let's, you know, we're going to do it. So right. let's, let's work out how Even we can Even though the it. lawyers told you not to do it, you said, I'm going to do it anyway. I said, we're going to do it, and we're going to find out a legal way to do it. And doesn't that take a physical, like, something out of you to do? I mean, because you're, you're nervous. As I mean, you went into a cage. You're making out with another guy. There's all these people in the audience who have no idea. Yeah. We had we were like 300 people short, and one of the referees said, "Don't worry." He goes, "Don't don't worry, I'll get people there." And he basically was a prison warden, and he got 300 ex-cons who'd wow. just come out. And suddenly these guys come in; they've got swastikas on their heads. Right. And I'm there, and I know I'm gonna, you know, start, make out with a guy yeah. and start a riot. And we had like this, you know, this fence around, and I had like security around. And I said, "All right, you know, can anyone climb in?" And they go, "Don't worry, no one can climb in." <laughs> right. It would take them three minutes. Anyway. Meanwhile, suddenly the, there's a fight in the audience. This, my security disappear. And then the crowd start booing me. And the one thing I'm told by my lawyer is don't ever, don't incite a riot. Right. You cannot say anything that right. incite a riot. And suddenly I, they start booing me. And I go, all right, any of you, mu any of you fags want to have the shit kicked out of you? <laughs> Come in here right now. Anyway, I knew oh. no one could get into the cage. Why do you think you did that? Because you said, this is going to be funny. Like, even though I'm going to be dead, this is going to be so funny. Don't, at some you point, don't think at that point, right? At some point, I tell you what, you get so deep into character. That you, you kind get of, lost. You get lost. And yeah. I got lost, and it was the most stupid thing, obviously. Do you think you'll ever go out and risk your life like that again? I would love to do it again. I don't want to risk my life, you right. know. And, you know, even when I was risking my life, I was always tr very calculated, you know. Right. You don't I, look I, at it as risking your life. I, I was always trying to minimize the risk. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you know. So, like, get, when, when you go in a room with, was it Ron Paul who you started yes. coming on to? Yes. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you look like Enrique Iglesias? <laughs> you figure, hey, you could take him. He can't yeah. beat you up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's calculated. Yeah, but it's, you know, so for example, if we were going into a redneck bar, I'd find out, you know, for my security, I'd go, what percentage of people have guns? And right. then, you know, you try and take, you know, you'd have the sound guy, you know, touch him a little bit and see if they had guns Is on them. Is that true? Yeah. You do that? You yeah, try yeah. to size up the room to see if people have guns? Yeah, you try and find <laughs> out. The problem is in the South, you, oh can't, you can't take people's guns off them. It's like right. asking a guy to remove his underpants or whatever. And I remember right. we did one scene where we, it was a, a bunch of hunters in Arkansas again. Arkansas is a great that place. That was crazy. When yeah. you're in the tent, 
And, uh, and you try yeah. to get into, you sneak into their tent naked. Yeah, exactly. So And they're like going to kill you. Yeah, and so oh. I said to my security guy, I go, you know, with Bruno, we had to use security. Before that, we never used security. Right. And I just said, all right, take their guns off them. And I go, are the guns off? And he goes, no, they, they won't take their guns off. Right. So I said, all right, fine. So, you know, we're, we're around the campfire. And I go, look at the four of us. We are so like the Sex and the City girls. Oh, no, we aren't either. <laughs> and... Uh, they basically realized I was gay. Right, right. <laughs> and they got really fidgety. And one of them, they basically go off and they got their guns oh. and they loaded their guns. And oh. we're in a, oh we're in a dark field in the middle yes. of Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> and they've got loaded guns. I'm sitting, in the, sitting around a campfire. And, and you're I know that, them. And I know that the next scene is I'm going to go in naked into their tent. <laughs> right. oh. And they've got guns. They're loaded. So it's, you know, it gets it's nerve It's insane. And do you ever say... But does, you never say, your wife, I shouldn't do that. Well, you, you're there. You know, then you go, you, you're going, should I continue? You go, listen, I'm here. I'm in Arkansas. I'm naked. Well, I'm naked. <laughs> I'm in a tent. Yeah. Let's go and do what it. What did you say to the guy? You go, uh, I want to, um, I, I'm cold or... I, yeah, I'm cold. There's a bear outside. You know, can we snuggle up? Yeah. Yeah, I've got some, I've got the Sex and the City box set. Can I like, just come in? <laughs>